We all know Elvis Presley owned Graceland Mansion and all the land surrounding it. His mom and dad moved in there originally with him, and then it became Elvis's house after his mom passed away. And his dad, Vernon, and his second wife, Dee, moved into the house on Dolan that was adjacent. Before moving into the Dolan house, Vernon and Dee lived at Acacia and Hermitage, also in the Graceland neighborhood, in this house. They lived there about the same time that Priscilla came to live at Graceland, circa 1963 or thereabout. This is not it either. This was actually a house bought by Elvis, but it wasn't in his name. It was Linda Thompson's house on Old Hickory. He bought the house for Linda, but again, it wasn't one of the ones he owned. We'll start with this house on Lear Drive. L-E-H-R is how it's spelled. This house was in Elvis Presley's name. It was occupied by Mr. and Mrs. Thompson, the parents of Linda and Sam Thompson. It later became the house of Vester Presley and his wife, Cleta Smith Presley. That would have been Elvis's aunt and uncle. Uh, Vester was the brother of Vernon, and Cletus was the uh, sister of Gladys, and they were the parents of Patsy Presley. The next home we'll talk about that Elvis owned in Graceland subdivision was on Favell, F-A-V-E-L-L, originally owned by Marvin Gigi Gamble and his second wife, uh, Gigi was the first husband of Patsy Presley Gamble, Elvis's cousin. That home was sold in 1973 to Elvis, and then the home became Sam and Louise Thompson's. And the last home we'll talk about was on Royal Oaks. It was the home of Travis and Lorraine Smith, Billy Smith, Elvis's cousin's parents. It was also, of course, Elvis's aunt and uncle. They sold that home to Elvis in 1969, and it was later sold in 77. Mystery solved. So while Elvis did own many properties in the Graceland subdivision surrounding Graceland Mansion was his only home.